Hello, and welcome to part two of our Nelly the Narwhal crochet along. In this part two, we're going to be shaping the face, making the belly plate, making the side fins, and completing the horn. So let's get into it. Next, we're going to shape the face of our narwhal. And so basically what that means is we're going to just bring the eyes inwards. Now to do that, we need our medium weight yarn. It doesn't have to be black. It can be whatever you have on hand because this is not going to be visible. And you're also going to need a darning needle. So we're just going to put our black yarn on our darning needle. Now what we want to do is we're basically just going to insert our darning needle as close to the eye as possible in the forward, so the front part of the eye in the top corner, just like so. Next, we're going to push that needle all the way through to the same spot on the other side. Now this can be more difficult depending on how much stuffing you've put in your stuffy if you need to just go through a random hole first that's totally fine and then you can get closer once you're over here now that we're on both sides we are just going to go down once down to the bottom corner the front corner of the eye and then we're just going to push this down to underneath the belly push that needle to underneath the belly and we're going to pull that yarn now we're going to take our yarn off and we're going to take the other eye the strand that we started with and we're going to put that on our needle and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to go down to the front bottom corner and we're going to push this down into the same hole that you had pushed your first one through. Now I'm just going to cut my yarn because I have a lot of excess here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this yarn and when you do that you'll notice your eyes are going to start to move inwards. Now just pull your yarn as tight as you'd like it for whatever, however you would like your narwhal to look. And once you have it exactly where you'd like it, we're just going to tie a knot here. And tie a knot. You need double knot. And that is what we're looking like so far with this on the bottom. Now, what we want to do is we want to do the exact same thing to the back because we want the eye to be visible straight on. Right now, it's being pulled forward. We want it to be visible straight on. So we're going to take our yarn again and put it on our needle and we're going to repeat on the back of the eye. So insert in the top corner of the back of the eye and push it all the way over to the other side. And then we're going to go down to the bottom back corner and we're going to push it through 
a new hole on the bottom of the body. Put our other eye strand on the darning needle. Put that down in the bottom corner of the eye and push that down into the bottom of the same hole. Again, we're going to pull so that the eye is more flat like that. And we want that to be both sides. And once we have it where we like it, we can tie a knot. And then we will cut our yarn ends. And we can weave that in. And there is our eyes finished. So once we are completed with the body, the tail and the fins and the eyes and shaping the face, we will move on to the chest plate, which is going to go right underneath on the belly. So to complete the chest plate, we're going to grab our color B yarn. So for me, that's white but just grab whatever yarn you've decided to use for color B. And to start for row one, we are going to do a magic ring. <clears throat> We're going to complete a magic ring. And we're going to make eight single crochets within the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close our magic ring up. And we'll place our stitch marker and we will move on to row two. For row two, we're going to place an increase stitch in each stitch around. An increase stitch is two single crochets in one stitch. So one, and right back into that same stitch, two. We're gonna do that eight times all the way around for a total of 16 stitches. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And that is row two. For row three, we're going to do a combination of single crochet and increase. So single crochet in the first stitch, increase in the second. Single crochet in the first, increase in the second. We're going to complete this eight times for a total stitch count at the end of 24.
and that is row three complete. For row four, we're gonna do a combination of single crochet to increase. So two single crochets, one and two, and an increase stitch. So two stitches in one. Single crochet two, one, two, and an increase. All the way around, a total of eight times again. And at the end of row four, we should have 32 stitches. I will complete this row off camera and I'll meet you at the end. Moving on to row five, we are going to place three single crochets and an increase stitch. So one, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, increase. You're going to complete this eight times as well for a total stitch count at the end of this row of 40. So complete row five and I'll meet you back here. For row six, we're going to do a combination single crochet four and an increase stitch. So one, two, three, four, increase, one, two, three, four, increase. We're going to complete this eight times as well for a total stitch count at the end of 48. Three, four, increase. And I will meet you at the end of row six. All right, and we are going to just do our final row, which is row seven. And for row seven, we're going to place one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 48 stitches. So 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I will meet you at the end of row seven. And that is our last row of the tummy plate. So I'm just gonna pull my stitch marker out and I'm just gonna place a slip stitch into this next stitch here, yarn over and pull through. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I would cut a good length piece of yarn, like maybe 16 inches if you have it, um, just because we need to sew these on. And then just pull this all the way through and that will create a little bit of a knot and there's our tummy plate so we'll just take our narwhal and we're going to attach our tummy plate so we're going to go on the underside so this is the top so make sure the top is where you have your curve and the bottom is more flat so we're going to go on the underside and we're going to attach our tummy plate to rows 9 through 22 on our body. So we'll count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'll just place a little fabric pin there just so that I know. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 
So I'll place another fabric pin right here. And that's kind of where we're gonna be attaching our tummy plate. Next, we wanna center this on the bottom. And we want to make sure that there's about four to five stitches from the tummy plate to the eye on either side so that we know that it's centered in between the two. So you should be able to count your stitches. Um, they're just like little bumps, almost like little V's. So if I had the tummy plate placed right here, it would be one, two, three, four, five from this eye. And one, two, three, four, five to this eye. So that's probably a pretty good spot. Right there. So now that I have kind of my guesstimated spot, I'm gonna start pinning this down, but I'm not gonna pin it right along the edge because that's where we're gonna sew. I'll use this pin as well. Actually, I'm gonna leave that pin in just so we know where we wanna sew. So just pin your tummy plate on a few rows into it. For a piece this big, I like to have lots of pins just to make sure that it's in the right spot because I definitely don't want to sew this on twice. So like that. And then I just want to make sure that it's centered with our tail and everything is good. And that we're going to sew it on up to row 22, which is just this little blue marker right here. Tuck that tail in. <clears throat> Once you're happy with your placement, we're just going to place our yarn on the darning needle. And we're going to sew this on. So I just like to take my time and make sure that nothing's moving as I'm doing this. Just like double check one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect, we're on row nine to 22. So once everything is good, we can just start sewing it on. Ideally, if you can go through each stitch, um, it's gonna look a little bit better, um, but it might just take a little bit more time. That also ensures that it's going to be nice and straight. Just go along. So just to get a little closer view, I am going under both just the top of the last stitch there of the last row to attach this. Into each stitch around. So I will finish sewing this on off camera and when you're completed sewing your tummy plate on, we will meet back here for the next step. All right, so once our tummy plate is fully sewn on all the way around, to tie off, I just like to insert my needle and I'm just going to make a little knot. Like that, and then I'm just going to weave in my ends. Just cut that yarn. And that is the tummy plate complete. 
Next, we're going to work on the side fins. So we're going to need our color A yarn, whatever that is for you. And for row one, we're going to make a magic ring. And we're going to place six single crochets within the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll close our ring up. And we'll place our stitch marker. Row two of the fin is six single crochets around. So one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of six, two, three, four, five, six. So for row three, we're gonna do a combination of single crochet and increase. And we're going to complete that three times for a total of nine stitches at the end of row three. So single crochet, increase. So two stitches in one, that's two. One more time, single crochet, increase. For rows four and five, so two rows, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of nine stitches on each row. Two, three, four, five. That is row four and five complete. Now for row six, we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease stitch. We're going to do that three times for a total of six stitches at the end of this row. So invisible decrease, so in the front loops of the two stitches, single crochet, invisible decrease under the front loop and the front loop of the next stitch, single crochet, and one last decrease stitch. Just like that. And that is your fin completed. So we'll pull our stitch marker out. I just will place a slip stitch into this next stitch here and through. Cut my yarn. And pull that through. Now we don't necessarily want to stuff this, um, but you can in, cut, um, stuff your yarn tail in there. But I'm just going to shorten mine a little bit because it's a little bit too long for me for my liking. And then I will just stuff that in there, and there is our fin complete. Now we obviously want to create two of these, so create one more fin, and I'm going to complete one more off camera. And once you've completed your second fin, we will come back and uh, sew them on the body. So once we have the two fins completed, we will sew them onto the body. So where we want to put these fins is we want to count to rows 13 through 15 on the body. So 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And I just like to place my fabric pins there so that I know where they need to be. And we want to attach this fin, both fins, right against the tummy plate. So they're going to sit right here, like that. And that's how we're going to sew them on. So if it helps you, you can just pin these down to where you want it to be. And then we're going to take our, our darning needle again and we're going to sew these on. So just again, we want to make sure that we're going into every stitch around. To make sure that it's nice and secured on there. And then onto the bottom side, take your pin out. That pin was in my way. There we go. Work along here. And into the last stitch here. Grab that last stitch. And that is the fin attached. So once we've attached that, I just like to create a little knot just to make sure that we're nice and secured. And then I'm just going to Push my needle through to somewhere in the body. Cut my yarn. And there is the first fin attached. Now you're going to attach the other fin the exact same way rows 13 to 15 on the body right against the tummy plate and once you've completed that we will meet back here and there are our two side fins attached so this is kind of what we're looking like right now now the last thing that we need to do is we need to create the horn for the front and so to create the horn, we're going to again use our color B yarn. So for me, that's going to be white. But I mean, you could you could use whatever color of yarn you want for this. It doesn't even have to be the same color as the tummy plate or the body. It can be rainbow. It can be whatever color. So for row one of the horn, we're going to make a magic ring. And we're going to make four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And then we will close our magic ring, place our stitch marker. So for row two, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of four stitches around. One, two, three, four, 
Now for row three, we're going to do the combination single crochet increase, and we're going to repeat that twice for a total of six stitches. So single crochet, and an increase stitch. Single crochet and an increase stitch. And that is row three. So for row four, we're going to repeat that and do single crochet and increase stitch. And we're going to do that three times this time. And our stitch count at the end should be nine. Single crochet increase, single crochet, increase. Now for row five, we're going to do nine single crochets around. So single crochet nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For row six, we're going to do single crochet two, one, two, and an increase. One, two, and then increase. Do that three times for a total stitch count of 12. One, two, increase. Now we're moving on to rows seven and eight. They are gonna be the same. They're gonna be one single crochet in each stitch around. There's 12 stitches in each row or in this current row. So it's gonna be single crochet 12 for rows seven and eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that is the horn completed. So we will pull our stitch marker and do a slip stitch. Cut approximately twelve inches, and we're going to pull that through. Now you can just stick that one yarn end from the beginning in there. And then we're going to take some fiber fill and we're going to lightly stuff our horn. It really doesn't need very much, just a little bit to keep its shape. And you can always fill it at the very end as well with a little bit before it's fully closed off. And there is your horn. Now we're going to attach our horn. So we want to attach our horn on rows two to five on the top of the head. So here's our eyes and this is the arch, arch tummy palettes on the bottom. Um, so we want to count, this is row one, so row two. 
So I will just grab a fabric pin. So there's row two, three, four, and five. Like that, and we want it centered on the head. So just making sure that it's gonna be centered in between the two eyes, the two fins, and down the center. And it's going to look something like this. So once it's kind of in the place that you want, again, we're going to just secure this with fabric pins first before we move on to sewing. So once you're happy with the placement, we will once again take our darning needle attach it to our yarn end and we're going to sew on the horn to the head. And there is our horn sewn on. And then once again, we'll just grab a little bit of yarn here and make a knot to secure that. And then we will just push our yarn tail through. Cut our yarn. And there is our horn all attached. And that is your completed narwhal. I hope you guys really, really enjoy this pattern. Let us know in the comments down below if there's any other tutorials you're looking to see or any crochet alongs you're hoping to see. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.